But I've got to ask you a, a question, of course. Uh, I first became aware of you from Hard Stern years ago. Uh, what's your take on the fact that Hard Stern has uh, well, pretty much changed personality, almost uh, a complete 180? I didn't listen after I left, not out of spite or anger. I just don't have a car. I live in Manhattan. You know, I don't need a car. So, you know, I used to listen in my car on the way to school. I used to listen when I had headphones and I had to travel somewhere. Um, so I kind of stopped listening just because I wasn't, it wasn't available. I don't go home and listen to the radio. I go home and watch TV like a human being. This is in the 1920s. Okay. So, um, I, I don't listen and I, you know, I, I guess everybody evolves, everybody changes. You know, I don't, I, I think it's kind of sad because he's become the person he used to make fun of, yeah. but you know, the guy's a billionaire. What the fuck does he care? He's gonna. If I had that kind of money and just to be able to go and do whatever the fuck I wanted and say fuck you, I'd do it too. So if that's what he feels like doing, then God bless. Yeah, it is kind of living the dream. But do you think he makes the mistake of not having the past comedians back on? He won't have anybody from his the past, from back in the, the 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 rock and roll days, back when he was like the badass of all badasses. Uh, he just won't do that because of that whole. Marcy Turk shit where it's all about moving forward and stuff like that. So, uh, but that's, he's a prerogative. He's a billionaire. He can do what he wants. And, you know, it, it, as, as long as he's happy doing it, well, I, well, why the fuck do I care? It doesn't affect me. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, do you think that there's some hard stern critics, haters, who go a little too hard on him and, and seem to yeah. shit all over him? Welcome to the world of Howard Stern fans. They are the most awesome, loyal, mean, evil people that you could ever possibly come across. <laughs> and um, they, 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 a lot of them are great and awesome, and the other ones are waiting for you to get a picture with you and your finger in your nose, and they, they want to just go crazy with it. So um, they're a crazy bunch of loyal maniacs that uh, all take place. Check this out. Love New York. <laughs> I fucked her. True story. <laughs> um, I love this city so much. So anyway, uh, yeah, I don't, you know, the, the the Howard Stern fans are brutal, and they will they will skewer you until you have, there's nothing left on your bones. So yeah, of course, they, they, their hero has become something that they're not used to and they don't like, and I can't blame them. Yeah, yeah, as a fan for me, I I think I think he's unlistenable, and ever since Artie left, I haven't listened to an entire show. Yeah, I haven't listened in years, uh, and I, it's just. Because I just don't listen to radio. 